안녕하세요. Welcome to South Korea. We are the Seoul Air Show and I'll try to bring you a maritime take on ADEX 2019. My name is Sang Chol Shim. Uh, I work in HANA Depends. Uh, I am in charge of uh, developing a uh, KAV2 program. Yeah. Now I explain the KAV2 program. Uh, we started this program development from 2018. We will finish this stage development uh, by 2020. Yeah. Uh, anyway, this vehicle is uh, developing. For Korean Marine Corps, and uh, we try to export this program to foreign country. We will start the mass production from 2029. Yeah, uh, we can accommodate the three crew and the 21 infantry. This is a KAAV vehicle. We delivered this vehicle for Korean Marine Corps. Now we are developing the upgraded vehicle now. And uh, after developing the upgraded vehicle, uh, that vehicle will be replaced this vehicle. The Republic of Korean Navy will be transitioning from the KP-3 Orion to the P-8A Poseidon. Let's hear from a Boeing executive on the program. What's more, I even got to step inside the P-8 for the first time. one of our great products here, the P-8 Poseidon. It's a maritime patrol aircraft. This aircraft that you see here is actually from the Misawa Air Base in Japan. Um, we're really ha happy that the Navy brought the aircraft here to the 8X 2019 Air Show. It's an opportunity to show our customers these wonderful capabilities. Well, the P-8 is great. It's a commercial derivative aircraft, so it means that the airframe is a 737 aircraft, so you get the benefit of the 4,000 that we've already built and that are being um, operated and, and are serviced around the world. So there's a lot of leverage that the Navy can take from having that large parts supply out there. Uh, obviously, there's economy and scale as we go build the aircraft, and we're, we're able to basically give them a very good price for very good capability. Uh, we're very pleased that the government of Korea has decided that they will buy P-8 for their Navy, and we're looking forward to delivering those aircraft. We're showcasing the uh, MH-60 Romeo at the uh, 8X Air Show, uh, supporting the United States Navy uh, in the uh, in fulfilling the requirements of the, of the ROC Navy to add helicopter rotary wing helicopters to their anti-submarine capability. 
In addition to anti-submarine warfare and anti-surface warfare, the MH-60 Romeo can also be utilized for medevac and for search and rescue. Well, leveraging my experience that I've had in the United States Navy and the opportunity that I had to utilize this weapon system, I can say from the perspective of a former naval officer and a former strike crew commander in the United States Navy that the uh, MH-60 Romeo is the finest rotary wing anti-submarine uh, equipment that, uh, that exists on the face of the earth. I'm proud to represent the Lockheed Martin Corporation. I'm proud to support the United States Navy. Uh, and I'm proud to, we're proud to offer the MH-60 Romeo. I think it's an absolutely superb capability, which I think will significantly enhance the capability of the ROK Navy. Well, I'm so fortunate I'm in Seoul at the air show this year at 8X 2019 and behind me is one of the F-35A aircraft that arrived earlier this year. It's beautiful to be able to see it on display here at the air show and that the Rock Air Force is starting to operate these aircraft and quite confident to move forward into the future defending their nation. So in Korea, they ordered in 2014 40 F-35As, and we will complete the delivery of those in the 2021 time frame. And what you look at in each one of these aircraft is true fifth generation aircraft capability delivered in each and every one of the aircraft, regardless of the variant that they have and they operate in their services. Those fifth generation aircraft include integrated sensors, sensor fusion, one APG-81 radar, EOTS, electro-optical targeting system, and a DAS aperture system that protects the pilots so they can perform their mission safely, return to their country. I learned during the show that the design contract was awarded to local shipbuilder Hyundai Heavy Industry for the LPX-2 program. It will be a big flat deck amphibious ship, probably able to accommodate F-35B aircraft. According to local media, unlike the Dokto and Marodo ships that were constructed under the LPX-1 project, the upgraded carrier will be larger and have a special deck to accommodate F-35B that can land vertically. The star of the show is the KFX, the next generation fighter of the Republic of Korea Air Force. Its weapon package does not include anti-ship missile, but local company LIG Next One is working on a next generation cruise missile that may be able to strike ships at sea. My name is Juan Choi uh, from LIG Next One. I'm in the global sales department. So this year, uh, we're exhibiting our long-range air-to-ground missile, which is currently under development. It's being developed for the KFX, which will be the first domestically developed fighter aircraft. First, right now, everything is an approximation since it's in a initial stages of development. But we're designing it to, right now, to have an approximate range of 500 kilometers. For its guidance, it's using GPS and INS, but we're also equipping over here with a IR seeker as well. Since it applies an image IR seeker or an IR, 
technically it'll be able to target naval targets as well.